Chart is a new weekly boss introduced in patch 1.1. He is definitely the hardest among all three weekly bosses. So here is a guide on how to dominate him every week for easy rewards. Chart has three forms. He starts off with a ranged attack. In this form, he does two types of ranged attack. The first being a standard 5 attack combo any bow user does. He also does an attack where he summons tides of water at you, both of which are really slow and easy to dodge. Walk along the edge of the domain and use charge attacks to hit him reliably while taking no damage. If you end up taking damage, you'll notice a mark on you, which will allow Chow to do increased damage the next time he lands an attack on you. You can remove this mark by moving to the edge of the domain. Occasionally, he'll summon a barrage of brain attacks doing big damage. This attack can be easily dodged by moving out of the circle indicator. He also has a rare move where he summons a giant whale to crush you. This attack is devastating so remember to dodge it, either by running to the other side of the domain where Chow summon it from or running to Chow as fast as possible. Next, he has a melee form. In this form, he does all electro damage. He has a series of attacks in this form, but most of his attacks can be easily dodged by just dashing once. He has three tricky attack patterns in this form. The first one being a multi-dash pattern, seemingly impossible to dodge at first. The secret to dodging all these attacks is simply to dodge the first dash using your own dash and then following the trail of particles left by child for each subsequent dash attack. The next tricky attack pattern of child is his dash attack combo. This attack is tricky because there are three variations of this attack. The first being a dash and double attack which can be easily dodged by dashing just once. The second being a dash and triple attack which requires you to double dash because the range of the third attack is significantly further than the first and second. The third and most annoying attack is a quadruple attack. To dodge the fourth attack, you have to begin dashing by the third attack or you will get hit by the fourth attack because of how fast the animations are. This last attack is applying a mark on you which you can remove by running to the edge of the domain. This is very important because this attack does a huge amount of damage. You could also choose to iframe it using an elemental burst, just be careful not to time it too early. Quick note for the first and second forms, while bows and catalysts are great for dealing damage to him while dodging his attacks reliably, melee weapons, especially claymores, have a huge advantage because of the ability to stagger a child after he performs an attack animation, creating a large window of opportunity for you to go ham and pump damage into him. Finally, his foul legacy transformation form. He'll always wait for you to approach him before he begins to attack in this form. So use this chance to heal up with your healers or food. In this form, he does a combination of attacks from his first and second form, most notably the will summon attack, the multi dash attack, and the mark and teleport attack. It's important to note that you cannot stagger a child in this form, so it's quite important to dodge deadly attacks. This is a war of attrition. Dodge his attacks and wear him down with yours. If you are having trouble taking him down, craft an electro resistance potion because most of his attacks are electro based as well as eating food buffs. They work wonders. Closing thoughts for this fight. Always move around while fighting Chow because of his slow attack animation. This strategy is really effective against him. Use the window after each of his attack animation to sneak one or two safe attacks in. Always remove the mark by running to the edge of the domain and use any food resource if necessary. <laughs> Ha! <laughs>